In a world first, StatsNZ is using rental bond data collected by the government to create a more accurate measure of rent and overall inflation. Up until now, Stats has been surveying a sample of landlords about rent prices. The new method reuses administrative data which has already been collected. This means that decision makers in government and business will have a more up-to-date picture of how inflation is tracking. I'm here with Donal Lynch and Alan Bentley, analysts at StatsNZ. So Donal, why is inflation important? Hi Gail, that's a really good question. Inflation is important for lots of reasons. For a start, it's closely monitored by the Reserve Bank. They use it to set the official interest rate, which in turn is used by banks to set their interest rates. It's also used in wage negotiations and benefit payments, so it has a real impact on people's lives. And how important is rent in the consumer price index? Rent is a key component in CPI. It's actually the single biggest item in the basket. Rent makes up about 9% overall of CPI, and it's actually much higher for those households that do, do pay rent. I see. Alan, you spent six months working at MB, the government agency that collects this data. What did you do there? Yeah, it's a great collaboration, Gail. MB managed the bonds held for rental properties. From this, they published regional average prices. At Stats and Z, we're always looking for ways to reduce duplication of effort, so we saw an opportunity here to modernise our approach. And using some of the latest research on inflation measurement, we developed a new method to track rent price inflation using this administrative bond data. This means we no longer need to run our own survey of landlords. The approach is not only more efficient, but also creates a bigger data set. Wow, sounds like a great success. So does the bigger data set mean better data quality? Uh, yes, it does. Um, so we've had lots of positive uh, stakeholder feedback and uh, from overseas inflation measurement experts. The bigger data set improves coverage of regional New Zealand. What's really exciting is that we're now able to release a monthly measure of rent price inflation. This will put a smile on the face of our customers who need real-time measures of inflation. When put alongside our existing food price index, that's nearly 30% of the CPI published monthly. This will help improve CPI forecasts needed by financial institutions such as the Reserve Bank. It does sound useful. Don't know when will the new data be incorporated into the CPI? Well, StatsNZ has been publishing new data every month since the beginning of 2019. This takes a while to filter through to the CPI. The July 2019 CPI release is the first one to have the new rental data. Okay, and where can people go to find out more about the new rental price index? Well, to find out more about the data itself, people can go to the MB website and look up rental bond data. This page has information about the data and about the average price of rent in New Zealand. That's great. Donald Allen, thank you very much.